Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Discuss Agile Conference. I'm your host Albert, currently with Jay Prakash Putashwami. We call him as JP uh, in Google Hangout, who wants to speak to you about his topic on how to tackle challenges while coaching senior management and leadership. Let us understand from him about how we as Agile coaches tackle different challenges that pop up while we coach senior management and leadership. Hi, JP. Welcome, hey, to, discuss. Hello. Welcome to Discuss Agile Conference. Before we start the topic, uh, can you tell us something about yourself and what you do and so that the community will know about you? Sure. Um, so like you just mentioned uh, in the beginning, uh, I'm an often known as JP in Agile community. Some people call me J, J A Y. Uh, okay. So I'm I'm basically an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm a software engineer by heart, and I've been practicing uh, software engineering from almost 15 years now. And also, uh, quite a bit of practice in Agile. I started around 2003 with extreme programming, and I've never had a look back since then. Oh, so, that's so long. Like, yeah, that's quite long. Uh, I've come a long way, seeing uh, most of the practices evolving in Indian context. And, and also worldwide. So I'm, I'm currently focusing on helping large scale uh, transformation, driving some of the initiatives uh, in various organizations. Okay, okay. That's nice to know about you, JP. And can you tell us something about what's the intent of this talk and the simulation that you have planned? Sure. So, you know, this topic, uh, if you really observe the title, right, I, I've mentioned uh, you know, dealing with or coaching um, senior management and senior leadership and what are the challenges that you encounter. And, and if you really want to talk about the intent, in most of my coaching engagements, uh, apart from my own experience, uh, a lot of other coaches, internal leaders, and let's say scrum masters whom I meet, they have this million dollar question on, you know, how do I overcome this challenge? I mean, this senior management is very tough one or the leader is tough one and I'm unable to influence or, you know, uh, onboard the person to the agile way of working. How do we go about doing this? So, uh, and, you know, in my entire journey of last five years of intensive coaching and consulting, I've tried different things. And uh, every time I get this question, uh, you know, I kept sharing some of my experience without, you know, because there is no one size fits all as, as as you recognize and most of the agile uh, people recognize yes. right so so, so yes. with that intention um, I, I kept sharing and what i thought was uh, why not share this with uh, with a larger community and discuss agile being a very uh, powerful forum where I, I see a lot of uh, great agile agile minds come there and then participate so i thought let me just share this with the community as well so that they're in a better position to deal with their situation and of course they have to find their solutions but then uh, I, I thought of giving uh, people some some tips uh, to try and maybe some tips to avoid um, so that their um, journey becomes successful. So that means you're sharing the million dollars with us, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, a, a lock to the, uh, uh, a, a key to the lock where million dollars are kept. Exactly. And, yeah. Exactly. Hey, that's that's a, a nice to talk about about the topic. It's a good introduction. And it's interesting to discuss about the coaching senior management and also the leadership. Yeah. But I have a question on the title of the talk itself. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to have both senior management and leadership in the topic? Title? Right, I think that's a, that's a, a very good question you, you brought here. Because you know, in the, in the, uh, my, my basic context is large scale transformation and typically involving, uh, let's say at least 100 to 200 plus people all the way up to let's say 2,000, 4,000, I've handled um, in those kind of scenarios. So from a large scale context, right, when you are when you are operating as a coach or a scrum master or an agile leader, um, you will encounter a lot of middle management who are typically responsible for delivery and their pain points and their context would be slightly different from those of uh, senior leaders, let's say directors of, of some portfolios and things like that. So if you really want to you know, uh, uh, work with them and build a, a partnering relationship as a part of transformation, we need to have a better um, a grip on their context, uh, their pain points, their, their passions or whatever it is, right? So, so that's why I really want to distinguish 
uh, between the senior management who are typically responsible for delivery and they will be uh, submerged in the day-to-day -day activities while there are a few um, senior leaders uh, let's say director or, or coe head and those kind of people uh, who are quite empowered to take decisions but they will have different responsibilities and accountability so so i really want to give some tips where you can recognize both the roles so that uh, you know you can be more effective in coaching so oh. that's the purpose okay 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 so uh, that's great about knowing it uh, you just told about dealing with and yep. coaching uh, are they different oh yeah sure i think this is again uh, probably billion dollar question uh, because you know in the community you've been uh, all of us have been hearing about debates uh, between uh, coaching versus consulting right i'm sure in some of the past uh, forums as well you have encountered and uh, so there's a lot of confusion between consulting and coaching uh, and also Many a times uh, the coaches get confused whether my client is looking for a solution or are they looking for some kind of a coaching, whatever that coaching is. So, so I really wanted to uh, you know, bring two perspectives here. In a large scale transformation context, there will be uh, times where you, you tend to need, uh, you tend to provide some solution or you are needed to provide some solution for certain obstacles so that you know, people can really focus on what is important. At the same time, if your goal is to make the transformation sustainable, you also need to enable and coach people. So, you know, because both the needs are valid, fair, and in real world, uh, I probably uh, I'm going to uh, throw more light on when do you need to do coaching, if, if you need to coaching, and how do you do it, versus how do you deal with certain situation, or how do you deal with consulting needs kind of a thing. So that's what it does. Okay, so but then now uh, when we were hired as a coaches or a consultants, yeah. aren't those things are set as an expectation? Uh -huh. uh, when uh, are we going to be a consultant or like a coach where who define everything and help the team to transform? Well, you know, uh, if you're talking about the JD that you get during the interview <laughs> or you know, even the agreement, the contract that you sign, mm -hmm. most of the times in my experience, both the parties in, in most cases do not know what they're signing up for right okay. though you're called as a consultant sometimes you know you would be expected to do something and we are when you're when you're signed up as a coach they would be expecting you know for you to go and solve some of their problems so in a true sense it's a discovery because you no know, nothing can be defined and uh, it's it's only a beginning when you enter the engagement start the engagement whether you're internal person or external but then uh, all the people, including coaches, need to discover that uh, throughout the journey. That's what that's what I would uh, say. So you say the coaching also is a journey. Of it's a, a journey, like and we need to journey. figure out, yeah, whether okay. whether it's a consulting need or a coaching need, or mm -hmm. even if they are both the needs. What's the difference? When do you need to do what? Okay. So, um, what is that simulation is about, uh, which you were talking uh, some time back? Right. So I think that's a, that's an, again, a good point there. So, you know, this topic is, is so vast and very deep. Uh, and like I mentioned at the beginning, I probably would be able to share a few tips and probably a few examples from my real world. But then I thought, okay, let me go one step ahead and then let me try to simulate a few situations um, uh, randomly from the, from the participants. For example, participants are welcome to, uh, you know, be on the stage and then share their real challenge that they are going through in coaching and senior management. I'd probably do a simulation of coach to coach kind of a person. How do you really uh, go about coaching in your situation if that's feasible? Uh, or even, even if uh, participants cannot recall a live situation, maybe sometimes due to a lot of people present. I have a interesting simulations, um, again, based on the real world, which I generally use when I'm trying to coach Scrum Masters, uh, especially in a community of practice. So I can, I can offer such a couple of situations, and then we can do a role play on what are possible approaches, what are effective and ineffective kind of a thing. So I'm planning to do that with the participants. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, that's actually a great uh, way to make people understand what we are exactly talking about. Uh, yeah. Before we close this interview, uh, I just want to know what is that for me as a person who is going to attend your workshop or a topic? 
So mm-hmm. what is what is that in, for me? So in other words, uh, uh, I can call them as key takeaways. Maybe I want to short list uh, one or two, which comes to my mind. So I think one of the most important uh, takeaway that participants would get is a clear distinction between coaching and consulting, right? Not really from the definition standpoint, but but more from uh, what does it take to do and uh, how different they are, right? So that's one thing, a distinction. Okay. And the second one is uh, is about uh, what does it take to do uh, coaching, senior management, or senior leadership, uh, or even deal with the situation, or provide some solutions, or do both of them? How do you really balance? And what are some of the possible approaches that could help you? I think, and, and people can try those things. It's not necessarily everything works. What I what I share, but you know, it okay. could at least give them some pointers to figure out something on their own. so they can be prepared to meet uh, senior leaders right yeah maybe uh, maybe i think uh, not just meet probably build better partnering relationship with their with their new stance okay it's nice to hear about this uh, new topic ajp and yeah. so guys uh, you just got a glimpse i believe i this is not the main picture uh, about how to tackle the senior management and leadership challenges so how useful it would be to attend this session right you guys know it so what do you think like it share it comment about it thank you thanks jp bye sure. thanks albert thanks for taking your time to yeah. to talk about this topic yes thank you bye 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 yes.